to have to smash some cave girl head in to get boom boom but cinnamon tonka and vanilla from jaipur parfum changed that for me now there's never a cold and lonely night in the cave when i want to feel and smell rugged terra de james it has flint grapefruit and geranium it making me smell like a real caveman all the cave girl come to me in the middle of the night Unk! What am I going to be wearing on Halloween? A real mystery. <laughs> Lananim. It means without a name. They make a fragrance without a name. That's spooky. Next up is a very good friend of mine and a new reviewer to the game. Mr. Zayas 81, or we call him Rene. He has a very good nose and a great fragrance collection. You check his channel out. Don't make me angry. Rah! Goodbye, everyone. Hey, thanks, Del, for that introduction and the opportunity of being part of this collaboration, my man. I really appreciate it. So first thing is first, happy Halloween everybody. For those of you who don't know anything about me, my name is Rene and my YouTube username is Mr. Sias81. I'm from down here in Florida and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys three of the fragrances that I'm gonna be using for the most part during this fall and winter of 2012. So let's jump straight into this. I'm gonna get started with my casual scent. This is the one that I'm gonna be wearing around the house, doing grocery shopping. And basically, just when I want to feel comfortable, I'm going to be rocking this guy. A very underrated fragrance from the house of Bond number 9. This one is called All of New York for All. If you like coffee and you like hazelnut, you got to check this one out. Now for my going out scent, the one that I'm going to be using when I go out with my wife to enjoy life and have a good time. It is none other than the most recent release from the Italian niche house of Nasomato. This one right here is called Pardon. Gorgeous wood-based fragrance with a lot of unsweetened chocolate and a lot of white flowers. Magnolia. This one is sex in a bottle. Now, for the fragrance that I'm going to be using the most during this winter of 2012, which is actually going to be my scent of the night for Halloween. This one basically, when I put on, it makes me feel like I can reach a full moon with the smell of my fragrance. That's how good this juice is. Another one from the house of Nasomato. This one is called Black Afghano. So guys, those are my three picks for this fall and winter of 2012. Now I'm going to pass it over to a good friend of mine from San Diego, California, Alonso Amazing. Take it away, buddy. Dale. <laughs> René, manito, gracias. No te merezco, man. Saludos. What's going on, YouTube? Alonzo, aka Alonzo Amazing, here to present you the viewer, the subscriber, my picks for the winter 
fall and my Halloween. Okay, check me out because um, I'm going to hit you with some heavy hitters. Starting off, this is the best way, in my opinion, how you can make vanilla, raspberry, and licorice smell. None other than Diesel's Fuel for Life. Coming up next, you want to smell like a sexy gentleman with some confidence? This is, to me, a cinnamon graham cracker. A spicy cinnamon graham cracker with hints of champagne, but without the booziness, just the main aroma of champagne. Perielis M. Now, for my Halloween scent. If I'm going to be partying up with the monsters... You got to project like a monster. I'm talking about, you want to smell something in your nightmares at night, you want to get noticed. Oh, man. Here we go. Space Jam 2, baby. Project them with the monsters. Here we go. Alfred Sung's Sung Home. Very versatile all year round. It does not smell dated like you think. It's citrus. Pine needle. Spices, very great scent. But other than that, that's a wrap for me. I'm going to go ahead and pass it to my dog. Retired military, serving our country for 20 plus years. D. Greg, 846. Let him know, baby. Take it away. Go. Thanks, Alonzo. Coming from San Diego. You know, those two cents, I got to go check them out. Bro. Your weather and climate is pretty much just like mine is, but not as hot. But it does stay warm a lot on time here. Without further ado, I have two categories fall and winter, but within those two categories, I have two subcategories my signature scent and my special occasion scent. For fall, my signature scent will be there is Mugler. Pure Havon. Great for first thing in the morning here when it's kind of chilly. I'll say 50 degrees. And it warms up in the evening to low 80s. Excellent. It still would be do the work for you. For the special occasions, I have the original formulation DR Ohm. This is a very sophisticated scent. My wife loves it. This would be my chick flick movie night watching whether it be at home or abroad next will be my f winter my winter signature scent will be staying in the Terry Mutual house surprise surprise pure malt pure malt when I'm wearing pure malt I'll know there will not be another individual to smell like me guaranteed that is a fact for those special occasions in the winter this fragrance there's some requirements you have to have the finest beverage that you are partake in the finest cigars and that I will have when I wear this from the house of x-ray morphine booze tobacco in a bottle I do have an honorable mention the honorable mention is for both the fall and the winter. This has no boundaries. And this is none other than a Dior Ohm Intense Reformulation. Now I'm going to pass it off to the big boss himself. This is D Grade 846. Sending it off to my man, Gelly, the boss. Ha 
What's up, D. Greg? That was some great picks, my man. Now it's your boy, I'm Gally One. About to let y'all know my father went to picks. When I'm not fighting with Freddy, or chopping up bodies in Crystal Lake. You also know I like to get my smell good on. So let me start y'all off with my fall picks. For my signature fall scent, it's got to be no other than this classic right here. Just acquired this to my collection through a swap. Couldn't wait to get it, and I'm happy I'm adding it to the collection. This is Versace the Dreamer. Y'all already know what this is. Kind of has an awkward opening. But once you get past that opening, it's a wonderful standout fragrance. If you haven't smelled it, I suggest you get your nose on this one. Also, when I want to make a, for a special occasion, when I want to make a strong statement in the fall, I'm going with this guy right here, La Anonymy. Still have a lot of juice left in a 50 ml bottle. Once I'm finished, I definitely will be purchasing a big bottle. It has bergamot, geranium, blind suede. Um, it's not doesn't have many notes, but it is very complex. Has a lot of depth, projection, and longevity. It's just awesome. Y'all should check this out. This La Anonymy by Lab on Fire. And in the winter time, when I won't make my statement for my signature fragrance in the winter time, it's no other than this guy right here, Angel Man by Fairy Mule Glade. See that metal flash? Like that, huh? Yeah. All right. And when I want to have, you know, make a strong statement, my special occasion fragrance in the winter, it's going with this. This is Back to Black by By Killian. Wonderful fragrance. Has some powderiness to it, some sweetness to it. Really like it. Quality juice. Projects very well and lasts a long time. Shout out to my man Funk for this decan. Also, have a few honorable mentions. Throw in there for your fall and winter. La Nuit de Long by uh, YSL. You already know about this one. Been reviewed to death. Y'all check out La Nuit de Long. Really good fragrance. Also, another classic. Javinci's Pie. Really good fragrance. A lot of people say it smells like burnt sugars. It's a real good, sweet fragrance. Very masculine. Uh, projects well. I don't have a problem with longevity either. Really good fragrance to what bring out in the fall and winter. And my last honorable mention is this guy right here, Burberry London. Kind of spotted longevity, but it's an awesome fragrance. Really good to wear, especially for Christmas, because it has a, that kind of pine, kind of spices. Uh, you know, just a real festive type smell. But this your boy, I'm Gailey One, about to pass it off to the next reviewer. Ah, holla. Hello everyone, Steven here from Adolescence with my top fragrance picks for Halloween of 2012. Now, I know I'm a little too old to be trick-or-treating, but I'm still gonna have fun. I hope I don't look too ridiculous in this camo getup that I have going on here. But without further ado, these are the two fragrances that I'm gonna be layering for Halloween of 2012. First up is a very animalic fragrance. Now, the name of this fragrance, as I said in my review, should only be used as a point of departure. There are a few woods in this fragrance, namely agarwood, but it's only serving as the background of this fragrance. The opening has a lot of civet, and it could come off as very offensive and very cloying. It's very animalic, and if I were to wear this fragrance in the middle of a forest, I would just imagine animals running up to me left and right, because it might as well be used as bait or lure. This one is from the house of Le Labo. It's called Oud 27. So this is a fragrance that could be used as bait. I'm a person, uh, personally, I'm a very big fan of it, so don't get me wrong. But once you lure the animal in, you want to fire. And when you do, the place is going to get smoky. Your surroundings are going to get very ashy. Of course, this is a fragrance that also has a little bit of woods in the base, uh, making it smell like a forest. But really, the aim of this fragrance was to encapsulate the smell of a rifle that's just been fired. There is an oily accord in this fragrance and it's made to resemble the oil dripping out of the barrel of a gun after it's just been fired. It's a fragrance from DS and Durga. It is a limited edition release. This one is called Spent Musket Oil. I'm absolutely in love with this fragrance. It's very oily. It's very woody. It's very smoky. There's a lot of birch tar in the opening attributing to that. But overall, it's a beautiful fragrance. It's a U.S. Civil War in the bottle. So please get your hands on it if you haven't already. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it on. YouTube, what's going on? It's Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz right on here in YouTube. In the fragrance community. And I have some fragrances for you guys. I have some fragrances for Halloween. Some picks. I have some good picks and some great picks, but I have some picks that I'm going to pick that are my pick, alright? 
first pick for Halloween. Every time I want to get away, like, I want to get away. Uh, yeah. When I feel like that, I want to get away. I always go to Original Santel for Halloween. This is my signature Halloween pick. It reminds me of the candy about Halloween. All about the candy. Original Santel. All right. Number two. Number two. Such a dark, deep scent. It reminds me about Halloween too. So mysterious. Halloween so mysterious. La Halloween alone. E Saint Laurent. Le Parfum. Check that out. For you niche, niche snobs out there. For you niche snobs. I have Nasamato, a black Afghano. Okay. Okay. It's like I'm walking through a forest. Alright. And if you want to smell like evil, like pure evil on Halloween, pure evil, you know what I'm saying? Like, evil. Um, I go with Fahrenheit Absolute. Fahrenheit Absolute. All right? All right? And then, you know, if, you, if you're a little bit underage and you can't afford these fragrances, you know, I would easily go with Thallium. By Joxy Vod, easily. All right, but right now I gotta bounce. I got a concert to go to with Jay Z. Okay. Listen up, it's your boy Coach Rob Six One Nine here with my fragrance winner, 2012 picks. I'm gonna give you a casual. I'm gonna give you a night out, and I'm gonna give you an upper class. Um, as you guys know, you guys that have been following my channel, you know, it's real warm here in Southern California, San Diego, so I never really have a chance to break out my winter scents. I don't have, you know, extensive collection of uh, winter fragrances, but I do have a couple. Here's my selection for 2012. Let's get this started. Number one, let me check. Okay. Number one, YSL's Opium. Uh, to me, this is a great fragrance. Reminds me a little bit of YSL's Lone for you guys that are familiar with that one. Um, it has an apple cinnamon vibe to it. Um, real real kind of mature though. A little bit mature, more mature than um, Lone is. But to me, it's a warm fragrance. Great apple cinnamon pie vibe going on. Um, it was a little bit too cloying in the warmer months when I tried it. But I think this would be perfect for the, uh, uh, for the winter. So number one, YSL Opia. Number two, coming in. This one, guys, I just got today. It just came in the mail. I've been wanting this one for a long time. Um, and first sniff, I was blown away. Dallium Black. I know you guys have heard about this one. I know some of you have been wondering how it smells. And to me, man, um, I still have some on. I put some on about three hours ago, uh, right when I got it out the mail. And basically, to my nose so far, this is warm, sensual, cinnamon vibe going on. A little bit of nutmeg. It has like a fruity sweet, like a real sweetness to it. Um, but it has a fruity vibe, but not your, you know, your normal normal apple, pineapple, strawberry type. It's a plum. I think of a dark plum with some cinnamon, nutmeg on it, um, and, and like just a real sweet, you know, caramelized sugar going on. Man, this one, this is great. This is almost niche quality to my nose. Uh, it's blended well. Uh, this is going to be my casual, nice and actually, I might. Wear that more than any of these three I'm about to show you. This one, Dallium Black, is great. So, coming in at number three. Coming in at number three, this is my upper class scent. This is when I'm, you know, work, suit and tie, a little bit more dressed up. Um, I've tried this one out. I purchased this back in March. So, I had this for a long time, and I still haven't even took it out the plastic because it's been so warm out here. Um, I never really had a chance to put it on. But I did buy a little five mil bottle of it. Gucci's. Pour on one. Now, give you guys a description of this. This is a baseball bat in a bottle. Straight wood. That's all I get from this. This is a extreme woody fragrance. For you woody lovers out there, you can't go wrong with this Gucci pour on one. Um, as you can see, I got a little bit of juices going. I took half of it, put them in an atomizer. I'm still testing it now. I don't really know if I like it that much. That's why I couldn't wait for the winter. And as you can see, here goes the box. It's still in the plastic, haven't even opened it up. So if I don't really like it, I may have it in a swap thread, so be looking out for that. 
But uh, once again, woody scent, kind of spicy, uh, real warm, definitely a winter scent. That'll be my upper class for winter 2012. So that's my three picks, guys. I hope you liked it. And um, coming up next, this is my man. This guy right here is the reason I'm even doing fragrance reviews. This was the very first fragrance review uh, reviewer that I've seen on YouTube. I've been following this guy from day one. Um, he, he's the reason why I even dug deeper into this fragrance love that I have, this passion that I had, you know, put my nose on more fragrances and get a, you know, a different appreciation and love for this fragrance game is because of this guy. And I hope he respects that no other than Al, Fragrance Fanatic 1. Hey, take it home, man. And depending on what the ladies say, determines what I spray. Peace. Thanks a lot. What's going on, everybody? Al here. Or should I say, the pirate here. What's this pirate going to be wearing on Halloween? It's got to be a fragrance that's very mysterious, very dark. Hits you in different angles. Every time you wear it, you don't know what you're going to expect. So for Halloween, I said to myself, what could it be? What could this pirate wear? It's got to be something crazy. Something that lasts forever and projects. It's going to be none other than a fragrance from Nasomato Black Afghano. That's going to be my scent of the day, scent of the night for Halloween. Like I said, very mysterious, very dark. Hits you in so many different angles. It's like a creature. It's like a monster ready to attack. What better fragrance for Halloween than Black Afghano? Like I said, last forever, projects like an animal. Black Afghano, this pirate's scent of the day, scent of the night. I will be wearing this and loving it. I want to show you guys another fragrance that this pirate will be wearing this fall, winter, a lot. I'm going to be rocking this fragrance a lot. It's from Derry Mugler, the original A-Man, the original Angel Man. I'll be wearing this fragrance a lot because I love this fragrance. I revisited this fragrance recently and I loved it. It gets me a lot of compliments. It has that opening that some people cannot stand, but I love the opening. It's so groundbreaking. And once you get past the opening, you get the caramel, the feeling like you're in a bakery. What a great fragrance, lasts a long time, and projects really well. Like I said, it's a groundbreaking fragrance, a masterpiece right here. In my eyes, that is. In my eye. And that's Therry Mugler's the original Amen. So there you have it. Black Afghano, Halloween, day and night. Amen for the rest of the fall and winter. I'm going to pass it on to my man Fragrance Wires. I'll see you guys later. Take it away, Fragrance Wires. Hey everyone, Jay here. Uh, as you can see, I am a highly authentic bottle of Creed's Green Irish Tweed this year for Halloween. Uh, let's take a close up look at the bottle. You can see the Creed logo here on the bottle. Stunning. And there you go, right there. Green Irish Tweed. My eBay username is Hot Nasty Boy for You, and that's you, not a Y O U, because that's cool. And it's fifty dollars plus shipping. Shipping is five dollars, and this is coming straight from Hong Kong. Now for Halloween, uh, during the daytime I work, so my scent of the day is going to be none other than the original Egoist by Chanel. I just got a sample of this stuff and I understand now what the hype is about. Um, there's actually not a lot of people still talking about this one, but those that love it, I uh, really love it. So I'm going to be getting a bottle of this very soon. High quality stuff. Switching gears into the evening, I'm taking my son out trick or treating. So I'm going to want something playful, you know, something sugary sweet and something that will keep me warm. So I'm going with New Harlem by Bond Number no. 9. Uh, I just think it fits the bill perfectly here. So uh, yeah, those are going to be my sense of the day and night for Halloween this year. Uh, that's going to do it for this collaboration. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun watching it as we did filming it. And uh, that's it for us. Have a safe and happy Halloween. See ya.